Terry Madsen. You won the King's Royal big race, and now you've won another big race, the Ironman 55. How does it feel? It feels bloody, bloody awesome. I can't believe it. You know, like, you always work. this is one of the races you want to win. It's Peebley. It's a big one, 20 Gs to win. Um, man, that track, I just hammered down, man, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I was, I've got to admit, the fun was starting to get over when I was going, come on, check it, this got to be coming. But, you know, I just kept plowing away, and um, unfortunately, I slowed down a little bit, so I couldn't quite deal with lap cars as well as I could earlier. But, uh, man, that checkered flag didn't fall well enough for me, that's for sure. I just got to so thank our sponsors, American Racing Customs Wheel. Hope Dan's listening. Peter Gavrinich, Bob Gavrinich, thank you so much for this awesome opportunity in this race team. I just can't thank everyone enough. Desa Murray with Earthx, Brian Morrison Engines, Steve Kent, KPC Chassis, just bloody fantastic. And, 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 and definitely big thank you to Tyler Swank, just exceptional. And uh, Brandon Eikenbury, Chris Bauer, just, just doing such a great job. And we had a special friend helping us this week, Mouse from Australia. I think he brought some good luck. And to say hello to my tenor at home. And uh, wow, what a race, man. I can't believe we won that. That's, that's a lot of fun. You got the last jump on Donnie's shots. What was going through your mind knowing that he was, he was hunting you down? Oh, it's bloody Donnie shots behind you. You can't make a mistake, you know. And I was very comfortable until I started slowing down in lap traffic. And I'm like, and actually, believe it or not, when Jason started to me back, I thought it was Donnie. And I'm like, I just put the, I was just, you know, just trying as hard as I could. And then I saw it was Jason. I'm like, oh, oh, that's all right. He's just blocking the hole for me. But yeah, look, Donnie, uh, last we've been, could have won a few more than what we have. And Donnie's been there and nipped us at the post. So uh, definitely good to get one over him for sure. You had a big lead early on. Did you know Donnie was closing in, it, in on you as the laps wound down? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I knew I had a good lead, but uh, when, when you can't deal with, when you're not getting through lap cars as, low, as well as you'd like to, you definitely know they're closing in. Well, Carrie, Larry Harding is going to come here and present to you with tonight's Ironman 55 trophy. Is it? Yeah, you're even lifting it. That's a heavy trophy. Shots coming home runner up again for the third time. You had the lead early on. Kerry Madsen got the jump on you in the restart. Did you think you were going to be able to get him back? Uh, I knew we were going to need traffic. I mean, uh, Kerry runs uh, runs a racetrack really well. When it's you know you get up there and go, um, you know, just couldn't find another line to to, to gain any time uh, without having traffic there at the end. That helped us a little bit, but uh, you know, you had to kind of be cautious with tires, um, try to save them a little bit. I mean, mine's pretty used up there and I didn't feel like I used it so um, you know I guess that's a little bit of a worry but um, you know he was a little bit better there to, towards the middle of the race and uh, maybe even at the end we just uh, got to him but uh, you know 55 laps is long enough uh, you know they, they got the job done quicker than we did. You started moving around a little bit towards the end and you started gaining on him did, did you think you were going to have a chance to make a move at the end? Well I tried uh, that's all you can do you know um, you come here to win uh, whether it's second or 22nd you gotta you gotta try something and uh, um, you know, we did that. Um, just couldn't quite get as uh, good and happy as we really wanted to. But uh, that's it's part of this game. Uh, some days are like that. Some days aren't. Uh, you know, the STP guys dealt, still did a great job. Um, you know, they've been uh, awful consistent lately. So, uh, you know, we were in contention for it. I guess uh, you know, come down to that last restart there. He got he got a really good start, and uh, we didn't. So um, that's the way it goes. It's uh, you win some, you lose some. It won't be the last one. Donnie Schatz and his STP team have been very consistent. Their eighth podium finish of the year. I had a really good time watching you. You came from 11th, hard charge of the night, to third. How does that feel? Yeah, really good. Obviously, the, the level of competition here is awesome. Um, this track's really good. Uh, it's probably my favorite track in the world. And uh, 3G guys got the car awesome. I could kind of roll the middle there for the start of the race and uh, pick some cars off. It was yeah, an awesome race and uh, just had an awesome time. You came from deep in the field. How hard? You came from deep in the field. How hard was it to move around on tonight's racetrack? Yeah, it was, it was tough, but um, you just kind of had to give yourself clean air, and that was kind of the key, I guess. Um, as soon as you got behind a car, it kind of screwed around with the front end of your car. So we just accidentally went to the middle and, and found a good spot and, and passed cars there. So just hats off to the 3G guys. Uh, they, they've given me an awesome car, and to give them a good result is, uh, is awesome. You were actually one of the only cars I saw running in the middle. How much momentum does this give you going into the rest of the big races? Yeah, a lot. Um, I really only got a few races left uh, and then I've got to go back home. So, 
Yeah, it's it's huge. Confidence in this sport is massive, and uh, to get two podiums in three races is pretty cool for us. Uh, we just need to work on it a little bit more to get a win, I guess. Well, congratulations to James McFadden on tonight's third place finish in the KSC Hard Charger Award. Back to you, Johnny.